What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Got a quick little break at work, so. I thought I'd meet here for lunch. Yay. In a parking lot with no parking spots. <laughs> we're in, uh, we're gonna go get lunch at Panera. But the parking lot is like super small, and you have Lowe's here. And Lowe's usually has, Lowe's and Home Depot both usually have huge parking lots, but not this one. Shake I mean, it. the problem is that there's like 10 restaurants here and like no parking. Yeah. But there's yeah. a lot of people pissed off. So apparently, Five Guys has the nationwide best burger. And a lot of people are like, ah, uh, no. If you think in and out got beat out, you're wrong. Yeah. People are all mad and stuff, but. I'm not gonna lie, Five Guys is pretty good. I may have overestimated this. I said, do you want the half or the whole? And I said, the whole. But they gave me two sandwiches. She got the, what, black bean soup? So I just realized something amazing. Trying to figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner, right? And um, what was the issue? Didn't have anything? Yeah. So then she goes, well, you want a burrito from TJ Tacos? TJ Tacos is a place in the vlog a long time ago where we were going through the drive-thru and we were talking about they have what? Beef tongue tacos. Beef, tongue tacos, beef, beef head beef quesadillas. Head quesadillas. Uber was kind enough to bring me a carne asada burrito from TJ Tacos. As we watch our TV shows. Down. So down. I'm gonna start using this more often. Cause isn't there another one? It's like, um, the one that uh, Jack in the Box is trying to promote right now. I'm sure there's a bunch of them. Uh, Food Hub or something like that? Uh, Grubhub? Grubhub. Oh, Grubhub's not Mexican either though. I know, but they deliver J-Box. Maybe we'll get them. You know what I'm saying? J-Box on like a, like it's like super late at night. J-Box will be 24 hours. What? You honestly pay more in delivery than your food would cost at gym. <laughs> Dude, you gotta pay gas to go get it anyways the way I see it. Uber, I love your new feature. Is this, is it even Uber or is it a it's different app? Eats. Is it a different app? It's a different app, <laughs> but it's Uber. Uber, you guys have the right idea. Keep doing what you're doing. Mango, did she wake you up? Midday, how dare she? Doesn't even let you run around or nothing. Well, because last time I cleaned his cage, when I took him out, he didn't move. He just sat in it because he's like tired. He's not awake. What are we doing? Cleaning his cage. Why are you cleaning his cage? So that we can go drop him off. Oh, bye, Mango. Bye, Mango. You had a good life. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so that we can drop him off for the weekend. I haven't even said it yet, but crazy spur of the moment, we're going somewhere starting tomorrow. We're going a lot of places. She goes, it's Memorial Day weekend. What are we doing? I'm like, I don't know, sitting on the couch. She's like, no, we're not. I'm also, what are we doing? We should go to the Grand Canyon. I'm like, you know what? Why not? I'm down. And while we're at it, let's just continue past it, you know, a few hours and go, hey, let's, let's start off at Monument Valley. So we're going to go to Monument Valley first, come back through Lake Powell, and then to the Grand Canyon, then home. It's gonna be a crazy adventure. We have no place to stay, we're sleeping in the car. We're doing it real good. We're doing that cheap budget. Um, you know what? I'm sick and tired of it. I don't have money to be paying for all these hotels, but I'm trying to see the world, so I'm making it happen. <laughs> this is how it's gonna be. Put the cooler up front and our uh, duffel bag of clothes in the front and make this our bed for the next, what, three days? Four days. Four days. All right. I bet you will be hot. No. Hot. And the, by the Grand Canyon, it's going to be like 35 at night. That's freezing. I don't think we'll be... Yeah, we'll make it work. We're on our way. Have my road trip shirt on. This is where we're going. Kind of. It looks like that, so. 
Where'd anyway. Where'd you find that shirt? At Target. Target. So we're going up to, okay, let me. So we're going up to Barstow, then we're going east to Flagstaff, and then kind of like northeast from there. It's gonna be a long way. Here, we should reset this trip. Somebody's not having a good day. Welcome to Arizona. Back to the homeland. We heard. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh wait, you are from Arizona. Oh, you're not from Arizona. I'm from Arizona. Live there. But you, you lived in Arizona for a while. Yes. So Kingman is 51 miles. That's where we're gonna switch. I will take over driving and then I'm going to drive to Flagstaff and then she's going to bring it home. Bring it home at 1 a.m. Yeah, that sucks. That's why we use cruise control. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ain't getting pulled over for speeding today. Right? I know you don't like that, but where are we at? We are just past Flagstaff. What? But next stop is, we don't know how to pronounce it. Kayanta, Kayanta. Kayanta. And uh, sleep there and then uh, Monument Valley tomorrow. Yes, sir. Then through that, check it out and then come back to Lake Powell. Maybe even Antelope Canyon, we'll see. We'll see what we have time for. So we got the longest part of the drive done first, so we can kind of take our time and work back. Uh, it's pretty rough. We're still going. We got yeah. what two hours left? Yeah. This is a long event. So we didn't think about the time change, but it's 1:30 a.m. And this is where we're sleeping tonight. Colorado Plateau started to develop about 65 million years ago after the collision of the Pacific and North American tectonic plates off the coast of California. Wow. So we're at, what do you call it, Artist Point? It's pretty awesome, check this out. Stop me if I fly my drone right now. Up and over that crevice right there. Just put up. So at the farthest point right now, we're gonna start heading back towards the front. And uh, once we leave here, we're heading to Lake Powell. Maybe stop at Antelope Canyon, maybe. So we went to Antelope Canyon. And they basically, well, the first guys tried to take us to another canyon that wasn't Antelope Canyon, but still called it Antelope Canyon. And the actual Antelope Canyon was like, no, we're sold out. So now we're walking up to Horseshoe Bend in Lake Powell. Check this out, get some pictures, and uh, go from here. Thank you. 
To the top of this little hillside over here to maybe get a couple more shots and launch the drone I haven't seen any signs that said no drone so I think I'm good fly down shots once the sun goes over the mountain. So we're leaving Horseshoe Bend. That was pretty awesome. We are going to find some dinner. Probably go that way. And um, <laughs> find out where we're sleeping for the night. Walmart. Hey babe, how do you know you're out of shape? When you're dying. <laughs> You're not even halfway up yet. And, and you're out of breath. Out of breath. Your legs can hurt, like your calves are a little sore. <laughs> working on getting the stabilizer. So I'm gonna be walking like this and the footage will all be smooth. So we're just pulling into Walmart right now, trying to find out where we're gonna sleep for the night. And I'm like, you know, I don't know. It's been sketch. It's like, you never know if it's welcomed. Dude, and this then... looks like an RV resort over here hold on let's get over here into it people have stuff coned off it's kind of ridiculous look at this like let's go over here to the trailer park bruh <laughs> oh my gosh we weren't the only ones with this idea <laughs> holy crap you guys got a boat like, look at these, everyone's all, they're all setting it's up crazy. camp. crazy. Look at this. Give you an example of how we're sleeping. Yeah, pretty much. All right, all right I'm gonna finish transferring all this stuff. It's time to go to sleep. Get it tomorrow, go to Lake Powell, go to Antelope Canyon maybe. From what we hear, it's sold out, but I don't know. I'll just see what's going on. And then on to the Grand Canyon. Who knows where we're staying tomorrow night? We'll figure it out. Good morning. Good morning. We're driving to Lake Powell. We're gonna go check that out. I've always wanted to go to Lake Powell and rent a houseboat, but it's super, super expensive. Unless you have a bunch of people. So we checked out the deal with Antelope Canyon and yes, you do need reservations. Yes, they are sold out. The guy told us, well, if you come back tomorrow, we have a couple of spots open. I'm like, uh, we're going to the Grand Canyon. So yeah, we're heading to the Grand Canyon now. Interesting fact, that was Antelope Canyon. My phone now says 1220 and that says 1120. Because so time, why? But I want to see when that's the time Nava, changes. That's Navajo Nation, we'll keep your eye on your phone. Yeah, all right. We'll see you at the Grand Canyon. So we just got into the Grand Canyon and we pulled into Watchtower. And she's way over the line on the right. Am I? No, actually, you're good. You're in. How'd you do that? The heck? I lined myself up with this car. Huh? Kind of. All right, I'll give it to you. Thanks. Look at this. Look at this. I try to scoot up for sure. I thought Watchtower is just the name of this point we were going to. I didn't know there's actually a Watchtower. I know, I know. But. There's actually a watchtower. Wow. Probably, yeah. Uh, maybe because. Wow. Of the <laughs> 
What? Last set of stairs, maybe. Don't do it. Don't do it. We know you're a rebel, but. So she goes, over there, there's no railing. Let's go hike to it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. You're trying to get the perfect shot. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Just dangling off the cliff. No big deal. Jeez. Like, come on. Literally, you guys think I'm kidding right now. Like... This is what we're working with. Hey, right, come on. <laughs> okay. Wait, I want to do it by myself. One by yourself? Hey, you fall down now. It's time to move on. What? Another one? I don't know where we're going next, but I don't think we can top this for a Grand Canyon shot. Oh, you did. You did here. Let me let put this one. <sighs> Crazy. Okay, let's so we decided if we're coming to Arizona, we might as well do some shooting. And I wanted to make sure that we shot in a legal spot. You know, like I didn't want to you know, just go into the middle of nowhere and just start shooting. Make sure it's safe, make sure it's legal. So we ended up finding a ranger who told us to come out to this spot. Do you remember the highway this, what highway that is? The 64. So off the 64 at mile marker 228, there's this dirt road that goes toward the, I believe, west. And uh, you go in and you turn right and he says there's a range and I'm thinking okay California range you gotta pay for that right check this out this is what I'm talking about set up targets and have fun put a sprite can on that brown backstop Let's do this. Alright, we're gonna see if you can hit it. You got this, bro. You see this right? You hit it your first time! What do you mean? <laughs> I told you! What? Hold well, on. I have a better shot than you. I hit the first time too, I just hit a little off center. I just hit that thing. No, you are. Uh, Let's go down there and see where you shot it. Oh, 108. I'm gonna let you pick that up. 108. 108 feet out. <laughs> one Whoa. shot. One How? How? shot, babe. How did one shot just because when oh, yeah, was I, hit, was I hit the top of mine and it started coming out of the yeah. top. You had all that pressure build up. Oh my so, god. Look at What? Dang. Look at you. Wow, who would have thunk it? All right. All right. <laughs> who would have thought? Hey. Who would have thought my girlfriend who says, I don't want to shoot, I hate guns, blah, blah, blah. I take her shooting like twice. This is probably the second time. 
she hits a sprite can over 100 feet out on her first shot. What do you mean? Wow. That blows my mind. All right. Good job. Thanks. Proud of you. Thanks. All right, we out of here. Okay. Good job. Thanks. Zombie apocalypse, you're gonna be all right. All right, I'll survive, that's cool. I didn't think I would, I thought I would just die. No, see? Surprising what you learn, huh? We're heading home. Last night, we got to, uh, I don't know if I've already said this or not, but we got to Kingman and there was signs everywhere, no overnight camping, no overnight staying, nothing like that. So we're doing some research and they said, yeah, you know, sometimes you can get away with it, sometimes you can't. It's all up, you know, it's all on you. So we decided not to take that chance. We ended up getting a hotel at the Hampton Inn in Kingman. But other than that, you did it pretty cheap. Yeah, not bad. I keep saying if we're able to do that, then, uh, do more trips. So this is my shift, and then it's gonna be hers here in a while. She drives the rest of the way home. So now we're at a dead stop on the 40, for no reason. We don't know why. Maybe a crash. I mean, there was a, one of the signs said, uh, caution, road work ahead. But this is a little excessive if this is for road work. The guy in front of us, we both got out a while ago. We're just standing on the road. He said that it goes down into one lane, but still, like, shouldn't do this. It's weird. I don't know what's going on. Currently 110, and we're still not moving. It is 2 o'clock. We're finally home. How long that take us? <laughs> eight and a half hours. It's currently 8.02. Jeez, 1,549.3 miles. Good road trip. Good road trip. Got mango, we're all done. I'm beat, I'm tired. Good job, bud. Hi. Oh, we're gonna cross them off the list. Go number 18, go to Monument Valley. <laughs> nice cross, huh? And number 11, go to the Grand Canyon. So far it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven done. Many more to go. We're making progress. Which one are we gonna do next? This one? That one. That's true. I can't tell you what it is because my mom watches these vlogs and if I get this out before we do this, then I don't want to know what it is. But I do have it planned and booked. Something she's always wanted to do, but has never gotten the opportunity to do it. She's gonna, she's gonna have a blast. Long 1,550 miles. Over the course of what, four days? Four days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days, three nights. Right. Had to make sure, had to count. Fingers and toes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fingers and toes. But yeah, thanks for coming along on our journey. Yep. We got across two off the list now and it's time to help mom out. She's next on the list. That'll be so that's a couple weeks still, huh? Mm -hmm. I might even get something else done in between there, actually. Mm, well, it's not this weekend, but next weekend. Oh. So it's not that far away. Oh, then maybe not. That's right. I didn't count on my fingers and toes. You didn't use your toes, that's why. That's why. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the vlog, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Bye.